Okay, so uh, this is kind of a busy day for me, and I got a lot of videos for this channel alone that I want to get uh, worked on. Um, but you know what? There's one that I think needs to be done as soon as possible. All right. There is an account by the name of CK61938. All right. He's also a small vlogger reviewer like me, and I watch some of his videos. I try and watch a lot of different Smallville um, critics and reviewers just to get, you know, a broader sense of what people thought about different episodes. And I don't have, when it comes to some of his views on Smallville, there's, he's got a lot of enthusiasm. I, I do give the guy credit. And there are things that I disagree with him on because, you know, we're not people, we're, uh, we're all unique. We all have different viewpoints and stuff. And right now, the guy is very passionate about Smallville. He's he is if I cannot think of a single person on the internet who's got bigger passion for Smallville right now, with just such a voice of you know praise for it. And right now, because of a couple of his videos, people have been turning against him because of what he said on season ten. They've been basically telling him that you know he's not treating it with as much respect as he used to that his viewpoints have changed all because really he's not liking the fact that Smallville is focusing so much on Clark and Lois's relationship and not enough on the other things like you know dark side Lex returning Clark dealing with his past and all that well that's still you know the silver medal in their priorities list of priorities but right now Smallville's main focus is Clark and Lois. I think you'd have to be pretty oblivious to that. And because he's basically saying that he doesn't like that fact that that's the first thing that the Smallville creators are putting as their main priority, people are turning against him. And I really think that you people are not giving the chance for this guy to, like, defend himself. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, I admit, I am a nitpicker when it comes to Smallville. I do that because I don't like to put something on a pedestal and just, you know, say, oh, this is so great, blah, 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 and not acknowledge any of the faults. And because this guy is saying that he doesn't like something in Smallville, everybody's turning against him and pretty much treating him like he's all of a sudden hating the show. This guy... I have seen enough of his videos to know he does not hate the show. He is a big, big comic book fan when it comes to DC and the mythology and stuff like that. And just Smallville in general. I've seen some of his Twitter feeds and some of his YouTube videos. The guy has got such a passion for the show, he does not hate it. And he, I know that he is not against Clark and Lois's relationship. What he is against is that Clark and Lois has become the first thing that the Smallville creators are putting as a priority in every episode. And granted, that is something that a lot of us are getting a little bit tired of. I am not against Clark and Lois, or Clois, or I'm not against any of the shippers or anything like that, but basically, the show started off as about Clark becoming Superman and right now there's not a lot of focus on that there's the journey of how Clark and Lois are evolving as a couple and because there's not you know like basically all the, it's like all they're really caring about right now is Clark and Lois's relationship and nothing else well they are caring about the other stuff but it's obviously second third or fourth on their priorities and that really sucks, okay? Like, I'm not saying that it's not interesting to see Clark and Lois, you know, see where their relationship is taking them. But, you know, I'd like to see what's happening with Darkseid. I would like to see what's happening with Alexander, this clone of Lex Luthor. Somebody who's a major character in not only the Superman mythology, but Smallville itself. I'd like to see how Clark is dealing with his mixed emotions. Maybe... You're focusing so much, so frigging much, on Clark and Lois and how they're, you know, hooking up and all that and how they're getting all this these secrets off their chest 
that maybe we want to see some variety, people. The guy is not hating Smallville. He's basically, like, people are accusing him of having changed. He has not changed. Smallville has changed. Whether that's for the good or the bad, that is your opinion. But look at this, basically. What a critic or a viewer of any kind is, is a person who is basing what they think of a subject or product, be it an art form, a TV show, a movie, whatever. They're basing it on their feelings and judgment of that subject, okay? That is what any critic or reviewer does. They analyze what they are seeing and saying, do people need to observe this? Is this worth watching? Is this worth seeing? Is this worth checking out? That is what a critic or a viewer does. If they don't agree with something, they are going to tell you they don't agree with it. Okay? Look at, like, the best critics out there of anything. Look at Roger Ebert, of all people. The guy has said some bad stuff about things that a lot of people do like. He's said some good stuff about a lot of people, a lot of things that people don't like. I'm pretty sure the man gave a good review to Star Wars Episode One: The Phantom Menace. I'm just saying it. And, like, basically, if you don't think that Smallville has changed, you obviously have not been watching Smallville for a while. Look at Season 4, okay? Season 4, in comparison to how far we've come from that to Season 8, it's changed a lot. It is not literally at least, the high school drama it used to be. And Smallville Season 10, you know, in comparison to Season 9, season nine that's changed. And the reason that I think, and the, the guy's got a good point, I think that the reason a lot of us like Season 9 better than Season 10 is because there was a plot, uh, the, the plot was the main focus, it was amped up, there was a lot of great kind of mythology going on, and, yeah, you got your Clark and Lois stuff, too. So, basically, everybody was happy. The thing was, though, they were almost balanced. If they weren't balanced, then the plot was slightly higher than the Clark and Lois stuff. Okay? Here, you don't feel much of a story anymore. That is why episodes like Harvest, um, Ambush... What was the one before that? Uh, Ice, uh, not Iris. Isis. That's why I was like, okay, I'm getting so sick and tired of the filler. I hate filler. Yeah, you know, like, uh, we, a lot of us are just wanting to see a story. That's why a lot of the people wanting to see Dark Side are getting ticked off right now, and I'm one of them. You know, like, we want to be able to see where this is going. The writing is so concentrated on Clark and Lois's relationship that we are wanting to see something else. It does not mean we cannot have an episode with Clark and Lois in the same room, or kissing, having sex, whatever. It just means tone it down for one episode. You can afford to do that. It's really, it's just a matter of what are you wanting to focus on? This is the last season of Smallville. It's the closing chapter. And what are we focusing on? We're focusing on Clark and Lois taking off their clothes and lip locking. And I am not saying I'm going to say it once again. R read my freaking lips. I am not against Clark and Lois as a couple. What I am against is people attacking people on the internet and saying that they don't believe that basically that they hate something because they don't believe the same thing as they as the other person. If you don't agree with somebody's views on, you know, reviewing an episode, what's stopping you from doing your own freaking reviews? I started doing it like friggin' halfway through season nine. I'm still doing it. I would still be doing it if nobody was following me. Frankly, I'm sure that there's people who won't be following me after I do this video. I don't care. I do this just to see what people are thinking. I do this for my own benefit. Do I get paid for this? No. I am just saying, 
basically it's a fact of life that you people need to understand just because you like something doesn't mean everybody else does smallville and superman is something that you can analyze in so many different ways not everybody is going to like clark and lois as a couple not everybody is going to want to see clark and lois as the main focus of the show once again, I'm not saying that they need to be taken out completely. I just want to see some variety, and we're not getting that. And I'm saying this, once again, you guys need to cut the crap of attacking this CK guy. He is a good man. I liked a lot of what he's been praising about, you know, Smallville. Like I said, just because I don't agree with what some of his viewpoints are in some of the episodes and what he's thought about something like that, I'm saying that, you know, treat the guy with respect. He is a human being. Leave this stuff where it belongs in your frickin' mouths, which are shut.